Use NVIDIA Poo from VirtualBox. How do I make the VirtualBox guest use the NVIDIA graphics? Host setup. Windows 7 x64. NVIDIA Optimus. In NVIDIA Control Panel, I explicitly selected High Performance NVIDIA Processor 4. When VirtualBox is running, then the NVIDIA software does not list it as application that uses the NVIDIA pool. Therefore, I assume that VirtualBox indeed does not use the NVIDIA pool. Guest Windows 7 x64, i.e. same as host. Guest editions installed. 3D acceleration enabled in VirtualBox settings display, video, enable 3D acceleration. What Rhinoceros and OpenGL capable application reports as video adapter? To me it looks like the virtual machine does use 3D hardware acceleration of the host, but unfortunately the Intel one. I realize a few years have passed but wanted to answer since this post shows up pretty high when you Google for VirtualBox 3D multiple poo. In the time that has passed, things have gotten a lot simpler and better. People that stumble upon this thread will likely land here because they have a laptop or PC that has two poos, which is quite common these days, especially on gaming laptops. The onboard Intel Poo is used for rendering windows and general applications, but applications that make use of Poo 3D functionality should do that via the higher performing Nvidia Poo. Today, I was building an Ubuntu VM on my laptop to do some cross-platform development, and everything was fine except the guest VM was extremely slow, and there was no explanation for it because CPU, memory, disk were all showing low utilization. It didn't take long to figure out it was video performance that was causing the problem. Launching applications, maximizing slash minimizing windows, anything that we take for granted in 2019 but needs 3D acceleration to work at any reasonable speed, was using Poo Zero. It was easy to determine this because Windows 10 now has the ability to see Poo utilization using Task Manager, then the Performance tab. And I could see as I moved windows, maximized, minimized, that was being done through Poo on the host. That Poo on the host is the integrated Intel HD Poo, and I wanted to use the NVIDIA GTX 1050T, which was Poo 1. After searching around I didn't really find anywhere where you could specify which Poo to use. But this thread, and some others, reminded me that on these kind of setups you have to go into the NVIDIA control panel, then manage 3D settings, then the program settings tab. You won't likely find virtual box in the list. But you can press the add button, and add virtualbox.x. You may have to drill down the drive slash path where your virtual box installation is. Once you have added it, in the settings below make sure that item 2. Select the preferred graphics processor for this program is set to the GPU that you want it to use, which in my case was High Performance NVIDIA Processor. Don't set it to Auto, and certainly don't set it to Integrated. Of course, you need the VM settings set with the 3D acceleration box ticked, and you need the guest editions installed on the host. But once you have set the host video 3D settings as described above, shut down the guest VM, exit VirtualBox, 
and then relaunch VirtualBox and the VM. If you use Task Manager Vertical Bar Perform Acne and look at the VirtualBox Manager process and watch what Poo gets used when you navigate the guest VM's UI, you should see it using the better Poo now. See the image pasted below. All that said, don't expect to be able to run games in a guest VM. 3D acceleration pass through still is not quite that far along. But you can expect to have a modern OS and UI in your guest, and have an acceptable experience. One would be able to play older games in the guest VM, like anything based on DirectX 9. Unfortunately, as the ability to virtualize Poo evolves, the 3D gaming technology evolves quicker. Giving the guest full poo access is probably not possible. If a virtual machine had direct access to your poo while your host was using it, bad things would happen because sharing memory between two effectively different computers is not a thing. Pointers and addresses and whatnot would be very different between them. No consumer available card support servicing two computers at once. There are, however, some things you can try. First. Set your preferred graphics processor to the good one in the NVIDIA control panel. 3D settings manage 3D settings preferred graphics processor. That might make VirtualBox go with the NVIDIA card for OpenVal. If that doesn't help, try installing guest editions in safe mode on the guest. Finally, on Linux hosts, you can try to pass the poo through to the virtual machine but this will only work for PSI cards and I wasn't able to find whether yours is PSI, and even so, you stand a good chance of ripping the clue away from the host or causing other problems. First find the PSI address, bus, device, and function, for the good card. Set your VM's chipset to it 9. This didn't immediately break anything when I tried it. Then use the Spox Manage utility to attach the card. Replace your VM name, as appropriate. BB is the bus number of your PU on the host, DD is the device, F is the function. After the app, enter the PSI slot that it will be on the guest. For example, In general, PU pass-through is more likely to be possible on a Linux host. See how to set up a gaming machine with PU pass-through. If you want to support this channel, please consider subscribing.